G'day this is Jim with Urban Self Sufficiency and today I'm going to show you how to make a sourdough starter that you can keep at home for making your own bread without the need to buy yeast from the store. We're just going to take a glass jar or some sort of container and just fill it with equal parts flour and water. And that's basically it. You mix this up and what it's doing is actually providing a food source for the airborne natural yeast and they will basically populate and as this flour and water mixture begins to ferment. Now once we've created the initial starter you just need to keep feeding it on a daily basis or at least a daily basis I think is a good idea. It can be a couple of days in between but for me, I like to start making a sourdough starter and feed it every day for around five days. And at five days, I think it's a pretty good mix that you can then use as a yeast substitute for making bread. And this uh, fermented flour mixture with those natural yeasts growing in it is actually what gives sourdough that distinctive taste. And it's very easy to do, and I think everyone should give it a go. Now I'm just going to show you how to make the starter in this video, but coming up shortly I'm going to actually do a video on using the starter to make a sourdough loaf at home as well. So look out for that video. So when you've mixed thoroughly, you want to take that jar with your starter in it and pop it on a windowsill or somewhere where it's going to be safe and give it time for that fermentation process to start and to start collecting that yeast. Here you can see after around 24 hours or so it's begun to bubble up and ferment and there'll be that distinct sour smell starting to come from the mixture as well and you can see that it's uh, almost uh, grown within the container as well. So it's at this point where it's a good idea to feed the mixture. So I'm just going to take a spoon here and remove about half of the mixture to allow for more flour and water to be added. And when we repeat this process on a daily basis, we remove and then add some more flour and water in equal parts again for those five days. And of course, once you've refed the mixture, go ahead and pop it back on the windowsill until the next day. After repeating those steps for those five days, you should have a mixture that resembles this one here. It's nice and bubbly, it's grown in the jar, and it has that distinct sour smell to it. It's at this point now that you can use it in your sourdough recipes. Be sure to look out for the video that I make of that one. And if you like this video, be sure to check out my others. And if you subscribe or are a subscriber, thanks very much for your support. And until next time, take it easy.